Time now for another edition of Crusaders TV Player of the Week. And for the week of December 2nd to the 9th, it was defenseman Ben Soa scoring one goal and adding one assist in two games last week for the Crusaders. Ben, uh, you guys come out uh, empty-handed, only picking up a point in two games. Uh, just talk about uh, maybe the overall disappointment of falling to uh, the Calgary Canucks and the Canmore Eagles last week. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucks, I guess, losing those two games. And really should have should have won against those two teams, but I guess stuff kind of just can't really control all the outcomes of the game so well let's look at uh, your goal we'll talk about that uh, you open the scoring uh, against the Calgary Canucks uh, you know a, a very good blast uh, you know getting that rebound off of uh, Cooper there and you know just talk about uh, that play yeah I guess I was just following the play got pretty uh, pretty close up to Vanny and uh, just got kind of lucky kind of bounced right right in my wheelhouse so is that uh, the message from the coaching staff? They want the D-men to, to really jump up in the play and kind of seize on the opportunities when they can? Yeah, we've, they've definitely told us to join the rush and be available pretty much as, uh, as that fourth uh, shooter on the, on the blue line there. So. And then uh, Sunday against the Canmore Eagles, uh, you guys played really well, especially in the, the, the middle frame. Uh, you pick up a, an assist in that game for yourself, but uh, you run into another hot goaltender. Seems uh, when the South teams have come in, uh, their goaltender has uh, has played really well. Yeah, yeah, like you said, the goaltending from just uh, just the past two games just kind of wasn't uh, going in our favor in other bounces. But um, yeah, getting that assist on the power play there was uh, good to get that going. So yeah, not too bad, I guess, uh, getting getting points, but got a. Got to get the team win yeah, first. You guys want the win. Well, talk about maybe on the special teams. You guys shut out one of the top power plays in the league, and then you convert on on the power play. Obviously, it didn't lead to a win, but you know how good of a confidence booster it is when you can uh, you know shut down one of the league's uh, top units. Yeah, I guess it's just uh, it's great when you can dig your heels in like that and just kind of muzzy out a couple blocks and good uh, good good dumps defeating a team like that. So. It's good, I guess. All right, well, Wednesday, uh, you go against the Bonneville Pontiacs. Uh, going to need a, a big game uh, going up against them because they are behind you in the standings. You want to keep uh, distance from them. Uh, what have you learned about the Pontiacs in the first uh, couple times you played them on the road? It's their first visit here this year. I guess they're just a fast, physical team that's going to be on you every step of the step of the way. So just quick plays and keeping, uh, keeping our game simple, and we'll be all right. And then this weekend, a double dip in Fort McMurray. Uh, how difficult is it to play in that building? Uh, and you, you know, you're on this team last year. You guys had success in that building, and hopefully you can get some again this week. But what's it going to take to pick up at least a victory up north? Yeah, well, we're really going to have to uh, play hard, play well over this weekend, and try and get two wins up there. But, um, yeah, like you said, it's never easy. But I think, uh, I think we can do it. It'll be good. Well, Ben So is your Crusader TV Player of the Week. The Crusaders home to Bonneville Wednesday night, then on the road in Fort McMurray for two games on the weekend.